and then the young and their passions. Sometimes confusing to my generation, but instructive too. First, there was the change in the sound of the music. And that was a little disturbing, but pretty soon we got, we got used to that. And then there was the look of the young, and that shook some of us up. But I look around at some of my colleagues, and even our sideburns are a little longer this year, so we've absorbed that one too. And then the questioning of the young went deeper into really fundamental concepts that most of us had taken for granted. And that started a dialogue that's still going on. We have communes and young religious communities. And the theater, reflecting these trends, has the exciting, controversial Jesus Christ Superstar. It's just one word, it's Jesus. And the divine element is Mary Magdalene.
problems that upset you Don't you know everything's alright Yes, everything's fine And I think I shall sleep well tonight Let the world turn without me tonight Close your eyes, close your eyes and relax Think of nothing tonight I don't know how to love you What to do, how to move here I've been changed, yes really bedroom of Juan and Evita Perón. As they discuss the feasibility of his bid for the presidency, a crowd begins to gather in the street below. Dice are rolling, the knives are out, would-be presidents are all around. I don't say they mean harm. But they'd each give an arm To see us six feet underground It doesn't matter what those morons say Our nation's leaders are a feeble crew There's only twenty of them anyway What is twenty? Paraguay. This is 
This to say about a music life story from its older rival. Easily the most exhilarating and thoroughly enjoyable musical so far this season is the splendid Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. A cast of youthful and talented performers is obviously having as much fun at the curtain calls as the audience. <laughs> Your bellies to so scared and 
Let me tell you something, baby. It ain't easy to be a pharaoh. Man, I got the weight of Egypt on my back. And my dream has got me baffled, and this Joseph's got to tell me what it means. Come on, you know that kings ain't stupid. But I don't have a clue. So don't you be cruel, Joseph. You gotta help me out. Would you sit on his throne? Can you save your bite that it's worse than your bark? Are you cock of the walk? When you're walking alone, because jellicles can and jellicles do. Jellicles do and jellicles can.
Rogers and Hart and Cole Porter were as well known in the West End of London as they were here on Broadway. Britain has been sending us her plays and actors for a long time. Broadway theatre goers flock to plays like The Entertainer, Look Back in Anger, The Homecoming, and Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. The successful British musical imports were few and far between. We can remember, oh, what a lovely war, half a sixpence, and the boyfriend. But musicals didn't start coming thick and fast until a young man, he was 20 when he wrote it, penned Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. A crash of drums, a flash of light, my golden coat flew out of sight. The colors faded into darkness, I was left alone. dream will do. Give me my color coat, my amazing color coat. Give me my color coat, my amazing color The young composer was Andrew Lloyd Webber and his lyricist partner, Tim Rice. The younger audiences accepted their music right away, but their parents took a little longer. Then they came around in droves. <laughs> Oh! 
Stay tuned for songs and dances from Evita and Cats, Yul Brynner, Tony Randall, The Dream Girls, and the award to the best play as the 1985 Tonys continue. We're in Rice's next musical to get here from London, but news about Evita had preceded its arrival. And by the time that opening night curtain went up, there could hardly have been anyone in the audience who didn't know that one song was Don't Cry For Me, Argentina. What we didn't know was how many other goodies there were. What's new? When I say it, I'm new. I want to say I'm just a little stuck on you. You'll be on me too. I get out here. When I say it, stand back. You want to know what you're going to get in me? Just a little touch of star quality. distance have I said too much there's nothing more I can think of to say to you but all you have to do is look at me to know
Julia, and I'm on Broadway in Arms and the... Before the next Andrew Lloyd Webber musical opened on Broadway, this time he had a different lyricist, the late poet T.S. Eliot. Now, if you thought Evita had been celebrated before its opening, then you had to stand back in awe at the avalanche of publicity preceding Cats. Now, they were all beferred, but they had individual traits. One old Tomcat had been a theater stage doorman. Gus is the cat at the theater door. His name, as I ought to have told you before, is really asparagus, but that's such a fuss to pronounce that we usually call him just Gus. Whenever he joins his friends at the club, which takes place at the back, of the neighboring pub, he loves to regain them with someone else pays, with anecdotes drawn from his palmiest days. For he once was a star of the highest degree. He acted with Irving, he acted with three. But his greatest creation, as he loves to tell, was fire for fiddle, the fiend of the fell. Midnight, not a sound from the pavement. As the moon lost her memory, she is smiling alone. In the late light, the withered leaves collect The stale, cold smell of morning. The street lamp dies. Another night is over. Another day is dawning. Touch me. It's so easy to leave me. All alone with a memory. Oh, my days in the sun. is song and dance. We're in New York City, a city that dances from dusk to dawn, where every face has a story all its own. And whether you're from Nebraska or from England, it can be a shock. Song and dance has a second act with its all dazzling dance, as you can see in these pre-recorded images. The first act, however, is its 
is all song. And here from Act One is an English girl comes to America. It's Bernadette Peters. <laughs>
let you down. Diesel is for unbelievers. Electricity is wrong. Steam has got the power that will pull us along. We see the light at the end. The story of our next nominated musical has already been told in a novel, five films, two plays, and a ballet. Yet, through the brilliant interweaving of Andrew Lloyd Webber's music and Hal Prince's stagecraft, we are made to feel as if we are experiencing it for the first time. Indeed, the touching and bizarre tale of a man's haunted love for the young singer who becomes his voice is like nothing we have ever seen before. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Crawford and Sarah Brightman in The Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> And listen. 
listen to the music of the night. Let your mind start a journey through a strange new world. Leave all thoughts on the world you knew before. Let your Let the dream begin, let your darkest side reveal to the power of the music that I write. Help me make the music. nominated musical. Love has more aspects than can be seen by the naked eye. But take a look through another one of Andrew Lloyd Webber's magic spectacles and you'll see them all. All the incredible aspects of love. Love, love changes everything. Hands and faces, earth and sky. Love, love changes everything. How you live and how you die. Love can make the summer fly. Or a night seem like a lifetime. Yes, love, love changes everything. Now I tremble at your name Nothing in the world will ever be the same Love, love changes everything Days are longer once we more Love, love changes everything Pain is deeper than before. Love will turn your world around, and that world will last forever. Yes, love, love changes everything, brings you glory, brings you shame. Oh! 
two of Broadway's brightest musical stars, the Tony Award-winning witch of Into the Woods, Bernadette Peters, and the Tony Award-winning Phantom of the Opera. Sunset Boulevard, nominated for Best Musical, is about a reclusive one-time film star of silent movies, Norma Desmond, who by the 1950s is living alone and forgotten in a crumbling Sunset Boulevard mansion. In this scene from the musical, she returns after decades to see Cecil B. DeMille of Paramount Studios, the scene of her long-ago triumphs. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Glenn Close as Norma Desmond and the cast of Sunset Boulevard. Desmond! Uh, up here, Miss Desmond! It's me, Hawkeye! Hawkeye! Well, hello! Let's get a look at you! I don't know why I'm frightened. I know my way around here. The cardboard trees, the painted seas, the sound here. Yes, a world to rediscover. But I'm not in any hurry. And I need. Conversations in overcrowded hallways. The atmosphere as thrilling here as always. Feel the early morning madness. Feel the magic in the making. Why, everything's as if we never said. Goodbye. I'm coming out of makeup. The lights are ready for me. Not long until the cameras will start turning. And the early morning madness and the magic in the making. Yes, everything's as if we never said goodbye. I don't want to be alone. That's all in the past. This world's waited long enough. I've come home at last. And this time will be bigger. So much to live for. Oh. Whispered conversations in overcrowded hallways. So much to say, not just today, but always. I will have early morning madness. We'll have magic in the making. Yes, everything's as if we never said goodbye. Yes, everything's as if we never said goodbye. We taught the world new ways to
Rock the Musical, Lord Andrew Lloyd Webber. Thank you. School of Rock is based on the wonderful Jack Black, Mike White movie about how music enriches and empowers everyone's lives, especially children. Tonight we see a down and out rocker substitute teacher turning the straight-laced kids of Horace Green School into a rock band which changes his life and theirs forever. Ladies and gentlemen, performing 100% absolutely live, Tony Nominee, Alex, Alex Brightman and the Demon Rascals of School of Rock, the musical. I have one question for you guys. How come none of you told me you could play music? Now we can compete in the, the battle of the bands. You, Zach, come here. Have you ever played electric guitar? My dad says it's a waste of time. We'll put this on, check this out. Now grab a hold of your ax and try to pluck out this riff.
thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I have to say, I, I am completely overwhelmed. Uh, my love affair with Broadway musicals began when I was 10, and I was taken one Christmas in London, uh, at one Christmas holidays, to My Fair Lady, and soon afterwards to West Side Story. And I just couldn't believe how two musicals could be so different and yet so wonderful. And next I got my parents to take me to the movie of Gigi, but what made me absolutely certain I wanted to be a musical theater composer was the movie of South Pacific. I devoured absolutely everything I could find by Rodgers and Hammerstein, and all I wanted to be when I was about 10 years old was to be Richard Rodgers. I, I never dreamed that one day that I, I mean a Brit of all things, would be honored with the same lifetime award that my idol won by my peers in the true home of the musical Broadway. I, I'm absolutely humbled. Uh, and all, I can, all I can say is thank you to my many collaborators and casts and musicians. I must, I suppose, single out Tim Rice and um, Harold Prince. And uh, I, 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 I sort of feel overwhelmed. I must mention Cameron McIntosh as well, <laughs> a great producer. And just say thank you, Broadway, not just for this award, but for making a small boy's dream come true. Thank you.